Welcome to my very first macrame tutorial. Today we're going to work on the macrame leaf keychain. These are the materials that we need. Clipboard, a key ring with a clip, a strand of 20 inches cord, and seven strands of 40 inches length. We need scissors and tape measure. Later, we will need some glue. Let's begin. Earlier, I pre-marked my clipboard with the measurements that I need as I work. So I would need 8 inches, so there I placed the mark, and 9 inches for the extra length for the cords that I need. So now, we put the key ring on the clipboard. You can use other forms to stabilize the thing you're working on. For me, clipboard is working. So get the 20 inches. And I had to mark the 8 inches mark so and insert it on the ring. There. The longer one, I'll be using to do my half hitches. So I'll be doing four half hitches, so that's one, two, three, four. I'll be posting drawings on the knots that we'll be using in this project. And then I'll take a 40 inch string, just split it into two, and make an overhead knot. And then shoot these two strings, which I'll be calling the trunk. See, now it looks like a tree. This is the trunk and these are the branches. And the one with the longer end, I'll make another half hitch to keep it in place. I'll take another 40 inch string and make and use it to make a lark head. I computed about nine inches to make the half hitches. Remember that when you do the head the lark's head, the longer string should be closer to the trunk. So, when you're on the right side, it has to be on the left side. And to make the lark head, what I do, I put in my finger and reverse it. And then flip. And then insert it to the end of the string, which I call the branch. So, this is a lark head. In this project, what we need is a double lark head. To do that, make another loop on both sides. So that's one on the left, and another on the right side. Now we're going to do a vertical half hitches, double half hitches. So that's one. And two. Put your knots together so it'll turn out nicely. And this, using the same string, we'll do another vertical half hitches on the left. So it's one. Not too tight on the first one, but tighten it on the second one. So the shape will be okay. So there. So this same string will now be a branch. This other string, we'll loop it here, and this is called a horizontal half hitch. Once again, it has to be doubled, so that's one and two. So there. Now we'll do the other side. So remember to measure the nine inches. 
And so now since we're doing the left side, the longer string should be on the right side, closer to the trunk. So put your finger in, flip it, and put them together. Insert it on the branch and make the reverse lark head double. So now we'll do the mid color green. So once again, make your measurements 9 inches. Again, we'll do the lark's head, the reverse lark's head. So there. This is my way to do the lark's head, but you can do yours. Whatever you find it easy. So there, and make it double. Tighten it and bring it closer to the other knots. So we make again the vertical half hitches one and two. For this second collar, you don't need to attach it to the trunk because you're farther from the trunk now. So, what you need to do is just to make the horizontal hitches per string so always double so it's one and two one and two so that's the second branch and now we're going to work on the third vertical half hitches And then horizontal half hitch. Remember that you have to put the branch on top because that's where you're going to you're going to wrap it. So that's one and two. So use the string that's closer to the trunk, make another vertical half inch. Double. So that, now let's do the left side. Once again, 9 inches. And since we're working on the left, the longer string has to be on the right side. Another vertical half inches on the trunk. So now there are a total of five branches. We're done with our second color, the mid cream. So now we will work on our final color, the light cream. So 
Take your measurement again. Nine inches longer. To the right side, reverse lark head doubled. Closer to each other. And then the horizontal half inches. It's one and two. One and two. So we'll do one to the third branch. Once again, vertical half hitch. Fourth match. One and two. Oops. One. Two. the horizontal half hitch. So if you notice, now we have six branches. One, two, three, four, five, six. There, so now we're going to do the left side. A vertical half hitch on the trunk. Do a horizontal one. So there. So we've done this part. This is a bit crucial. So 
So remember, this is our branch, right? So the string on top, we need to make horizontal hitches. So tighten it as much as you can. So that's one and two. And again, we'll make two more, four all together. So that's three and four. So the bottom one will be the branch. So we're making one. And then number one. One. And two. So we've done this part. This part here. So now there are three strings. So what I do, the one that's closest to the light green, I just directly do horizontal half hitches with it. So that's one. Two. And for the remaining two strings, I do vertical half hitches before doing horizontal half hitches. again the vertical half hitch the horizontal half hitches So, like before, there's an odd number, the first one, or the one that's closest to the string that's not it before, I'll make it directly into horizontal half hitches. And the next ones, I'll do vertical half hitches first. So we're done with the right side. Now we'll work on the left side. Same thing.
So now what we'll do is closing it up. This is a bit different from the previous uh, knot. And you said, well, it's similar, but now we need to bring this branch closer to the trunk. So to do that, I'll get the first string, put it under and over. It's also some sort of vertical half hitches, but it's away from the branch, making it making the trunk and the branch closer to each other. And then do it alternately. So now do, do it on the left. So that's over and inside and pull and tighten it. See it should be getting closer to the to that branch. So that's one and two. Remember it's always double. So we skip a string or a strand get the third one. So the same thing, under, over, and in, and pull. So it's over and in. So do it on the left side. Notice the really short one. We don't need. We don't really need that anymore. So, there. And do another one. Skip a strand. Get the fifth one. From under, over, in, and pull. Side and four. So that's under, over, inside, and four. And again. For the last string. We'll need this to glue it and trim it later. So using an instant glue, make sure that you thoroughly glue the edges so that it won't unravel. It's done! May this macrame leaf keychain be a reminder of hope that amidst the hardships the pandemic brings us, Mother Nature has thrived and has been a huge blessing to us. Despite past decades of neglect and abuse, may we all choose to appreciate Mother Nature and her never-ending gifts. 
may we all choose to be always kind to one another. Please let me know if you have any questions. I hope you learned from this tutorial. Bye!